Buffalo Avenue, Niagara Falls. This is, what is this, Oxy? Right here? This is one of the chemical plants. There is A Street. And we are right behind the field where I was just filming. And that, when my dad was a kid, used to be train tracks. Why would they have that right there? Not clear as to why they have a Johnny on the spot right there on those telephone poles. Probably for building that house. Oh yeah, for building those houses. In any case, that used to be train tracks. Right there, right behind where our dad grew up. Which may be where he got his fixation for trains, I'm not sure. But as you can see, the factories are right behind the house, which is why I believe that they're all fucked up. Everybody's sick. My grandfather died from stomach cancer. My grandmother died from ovarian cancer and several, she had several female cancers. And my aunt and cousin have breast cancer. <clears throat> Pardon me? Oh, but on the bright side, I'm stopping in the middle of the road here. It doesn't matter because there's no traffic. On the bright side, there's a casino. Pretty. So at least they have one nice thing. You know, in between all the high tension wires and everything, they have the nice casino lights to work at. Put in something I want to hear, not that. This is DuPont. Again, we're right behind A Street in Echota. Nice chemicals. Nice factory. DuPont. Almost what the hell are we listening to? You don't know? I don't either. Okay, Jessica, here we go again. Right there, what I'm focused on is still A Street in Echota, where our father and all his family grew up. That all right there, that's oxychemical, which is responsible for a lot of the ground contamination from um, Love Canal, which is just a couple miles from where, where I'm standing right now. Where I am here, I'm on a little bridge. Where'd that bird go? And I'm looking over a creek. And as you can see, there's no fish or anything in here. You know why? Because it's all contaminated. It's all chemicals. And there was just a really weird bird standing right here. It wasn't a pigeon, and it wasn't a seagull. It was some kind of other bird I've never seen before. It looked like a stork or something. Oh, there he is. What the hell kind of bird is that? Birdie, 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 birdie. What kind of bird is that? I've never seen a bird like that. It's probably some mongoloid genetic defect bird <clears throat> because he's walking around in the contaminated water. This is a factory where our grandpa Mauer worked. He died from stomach cancer, sadly. And they got a cat here when I was little and they named him Quivers. My grandpa found a kitten here, and the kitten, his eyes shook, and his whole body shook. He lived until he was like 15 years old or something, but he shook uncontrollably all the time, so they named him Quivers. This is all factories and high tension lines. So, whatever may or may not have happened, good or bad, in your life, Jessica, Please thank your lucky stars that your mother did not subject you to this and she got you the hell out of here. What a horrible place it would be to grow up here.
high tension wire. That's a creek over there, but you can't see it because it's all full of weeds and shit. And there again is A Street amongst all of this crap. And I am going to try to beat feet out of here because I don't want to end up like Karen Silkwood. But I'm wondering where that bird went. Birdie, birdie. Yeah, I don't believe that there's any fish in there, I'm not sure. Oh shit, here comes a car probably factory security coming to kill me.